cafe when an older woman approaches you with a piece of paper asking you to read the tiny address written on the paper. Later you wake up in a bathtub with a killer headache in an empty wallet. You leave the bathroom and realize you're in an abandoned apartment. Disoriented and confused, you stumble outside and try to find your way back to your house. After three hours, you finally get home and your house is ransacked. Everything worth anything is gone. You ask a neighbor if she saw anything and she says you and three men came by with a moving truck and totally cleaned out your house. In disbelief, you head back home, sit down to gather some information. After some hard thinking time, you come to the conclusion that you've been drugged. How did this happen? Well, the hazardous drug known as Devil's Breath was inhaled. It eliminated free will and totally wiped out the memory clean. Most of it was inhaled through the nasal passage and it travels directly up to the brain. Scopolamine enters the brain. It blocks the acetylcholine from binding to the receptor blocks. This directly affects the first stage of memory encoding, which takes place in the hippocampus, an area critical for memory storing. That explains the symptoms of amnesia and or memory loss. How did this drug travel to the brain so easily? Let's start off by looking at the chemical structure of scopolamine. If you take a closer look, nitrogen has three electrons and donates two of them to HCl. This makes it an electron donor. Any element willing to do that is a Lewis base. Lewis bases have the tendency to cross over the cell membrane to the brain without complication, unlike Lewis acids, which are strictly electron acceptors. What is Devil's Breath? Devil's Breath, aka scopolamine, is native to the southern part of Colombia. It comes from the flowers of the Barakiero tree. The flowers contain seeds which are harvested and then processed into a fine white powder much like cocaine. Devil's Breath is commonly blown into a victim's face or slipped into a drink. Scopolamine is also used medically as a transdermal patch for motion sickness. Remember to never ever fall asleep under the broad cherry tree because its pollen may cause strange and unusual dreams.